This 12-foot wood-fired hearth is the blazing hot heartbeat of a restaurant named Walker's Main. It was created by locals for locals, but it's become a culinary destination drawing customers from all over the country thanks to Chef Justin Walker and his wife and partner, Danielle Walker. The two met while working at the legendary Arrows restaurant in nearby Agunquit, but they always dreamed about opening their own restaurant in Danielle's hometown of Cape Nettick, where her family has roots going back 13 generations. And their experience in farming, fishing, cooking, and hospitality has paid off at Walker's, which blends locally sourced main ingredients and traditional cooking methods with a more modern and creative sensibility. Walker's is a restaurant in Maine that specializes in local product and wood-fired cooking. We like to prepare food that's comforting to the soul, local, and simple. When you pull in the parking lot, you immediately smell the campfire. So that sort of permeates the entire restaurant. You can just smell the things roasting on the hearth, the sauces bubbling on the hearth, the grills being seasoned. A lot of people keep saying that it feels like home to them. A place where you feel comfortable, that you don't feel like you have to leave. For guests who are not from Maine, who are coming here to experience Maine, there is lobster on our menu, blueberries, potatoes. I mean, all of those things that people want to try when they're here, that grow here. And we mix that in with things that we grow on our own farm that make it a little bit more special that maybe you don't usually find growing in Maine. So there are Bangs Island mussels from the cold waters of Casco Bay, cooked up with bacon, cream, and smoked peppers, stacked up with fries hand-cut from potatoes grown in Freiburg, Maine, golden fried peaky toe crab fritters, wood-fired chicken brochette with coconut chilies and spicy peanuts, even a sensational smash burger with griddled onions and pickle relish on a house-made bun. And even though they do an amazing job with steak and seafood, vegetables might be the star of the menu, including locally grown sashimi peppers, hearth roasted with tamari, ginger, and sesame, or the truly unforgettable cauliflower roasted with brown butter, fried garlic, and honey. The roasted cauliflower is one of our first signatures here at Walker's. It's been on since day one. The cauliflowers go on in the morning on the hearth. They roast all day. That is the sleeper of the menu and one of my absolute, absolute favorites. Local cauliflower, they put it in the hearth before they start the coffee maker in the morning. It's an all-day process, but it's so worth it. Big, shareable, appetizing appetizer, family style, presentation, delicious. For something a whole lot heartier from the hearth, check out the brined, marinated, and wood-fired pork chop featuring farm fresh veggies and sweet street corn. There's the popular age-smoked duck boasting a super crispy skin served with ginger, bok choy, and fried rice. And then there's the deceptively simple and impossible to resist ribeye steak. I mean, steak of a wood grill is perfect. And you know, there are those nights when you're sitting at home thinking, God, I just want a great steak, mashed potatoes, and again, local mushrooms or wild mushrooms are a perfect pairing. So that's that's the feeling we want people to, to have when they have it. This is comfort food. This is a steak that's been done over wood, over coals, very, very hot, mashed potatoes, bordelaise, mushrooms, that's it. But anytime you go to a great restaurant in Maine, and make no mistake, this truly is a great restaurant, lobster needs to make its way to your table. And at Walker's, it's not boiled or steamed, it's wood fired. I love boiled lobster. Wood fired lobster is just another level for me. You get that amazing char, you get that umami. It's, it's almost a gentle way to cook it, you know? You're cooking it mostly on the shell, so it just warms the meat up and we serve it. And they serve up some sensational desserts as well, like Maine blueberry cobbler with house made ice cream and the root beer float inspired inspired sassafras and sarsaparilla glazed brioche donuts, which are fried to order, take 10 minutes to cook, but only last a few seconds before they're devoured. They fall into the cult category, and that is not where we put it, that's where everyone puts it. If we took them off the menu, definitely a problem. They're a cheap day food. They've been on the menu since we've opened, and I don't think they're going anywhere soon. But you should come to Walker's Main soon, because you won't find a better meal from a more gracious couple. For us to do this restaurant in this town means the world to both of us, because this is my hometown. Justin's lived here for more than 20 years. And to have people really support what we're doing, I can't put words to that. It's something special. So a lot of work went into this place in the service in the food, in the experience, in the way the room looks. That is hospitality. I would just say come because when you get here, it's worth it.